wait so hi youtube my name is osha i am starting this up again for the like billionth time i want to youtube but i don't know what to do and people keep telling me to like write scripts or think of something creative and just put it on there and i'm just like i'm not creative i'm so boring cry i'm not funny i'm not excruciatingly creative I just exist, very existence. I just want to do YouTube. I just want to put something out there, mainly because when I did do YouTube a couple years back, I got a lot of positive responses from like my music and from just like being in front of the camera. I also got negative responses, and, like whatever, but eh, negatives are gonna be negatives. This is my dog. She's a little rat. Her name is Paris. She doesn't like to be carried. But it also helped me a lot with like social things. Like I was able to talk in front of people easier and I cared a little bit less about what people thought and I think that's really important especially because right now in my life I just finished university and I don't have anything doing like I'm exactly at that point in life that everyone at the end of university worries about it's like what if I can't get a job what if I have to move back in with my parents whatever what if I can't find money what if I have to start paying back student loans and I don't have money for student loans and ugh, all the craziness that's exactly me right now I'm currently living in my parents' house. I couldn't find a job in my field, so I'm currently doing childcare, which is cool and everything. Like, children are awesome. They're weird little nuggets of people. They're cool. But I kind of wanted to, I don't know, do something creative while still being an English major. Went to school for English, and people were like, oh, so you want to be a teacher, right? No. Oh, you want to be in journalism? No. You want to write books? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. I mean, I love writing. I love it. I love writing. I love reading. I love interacting with people. But like, I tried NaNoWriMo two years ago and it was an awesome experience, but also never again. No, I do not want to write book. It's not even like a big book. That's like a novella. That is a tiny book and I sucked at it. I sucked so hard. Like, I, I don't think I actually technically finished the book. I got to 50,000 words, but I didn't actually finish the book. I loved the experience of it because I pushed, I did something I never thought I would be able to do, but I don't feel like I really want to do it again to that intensity. And I know a lot of writers who are like, oh my God, I have to meet a deadline, rush, 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 rush. And then it's just like, oh, so much stress. I don't need stress in my life, at least not now, not when I can't control a bunch of factors in my life. So yeah, I feel like I need to do some YouTube just to interact with the world because I don't have enough money to go and interact with the world so I'm just kind of interacting with the internet yay I think I might just vlog and put things up and edit a little bit or something I don't know how to edit videos eh. I'm just gonna talk edit put videos up interact with the internet yeah cool bye bye So I just had to show this. My mom apparently bought a bunch of gifts, question mark, um, for the holidays, but I didn't know they were coming. So I was like looking outside my window and there's just a guy like coming by with like a huge amount of presents. So I'm pretty sure half of them are alcohol. I don't know. All right, peace.